Hey guys, what's up? Greetings from Vancouver. It is Wednesday evening, and uh, I'm in my trailer. We're just in between scenes here. And uh, I know that I haven't been live very much, chatting very much. You know, the new season is so secretive that I'm not really able to talk about it. So uh, I haven't really been posting a lot of updates, but I'm sure that'll change, you know, as soon as, um, as, soon as we're airing October 15th, my daughter's birthday at uh, 8. 7 Central on the CW. Um, anyway, I'm going to talk about Arrow in a little bit. Uh, now that I've had a chance to unpack from the weekend, I really wanted to pass along some gratitude for what was um, a once-in-a-lifetime, possibly last-in-a-lifetime experience for me, uh, being an all-in with, um, you know, being a part of the largest uh, independent wrestling show ever was seriously, seriously, seriously incredible. I'm just going to switch off these comments here so I can actually see and make sure that I don't do weird stuff. All right, I don't know how to do that. Anyway, okay, uh, I have a lot of thanks to pass around. I know that I'm going to forget somebody. So just know that uh, it's not that I hit my head really hard. It's just that I don't make notes for these sorts of things. Uh, I would like to thank my friends and family who all came out to Chicago. Uh, I would like to thank the people that thought it would be an interesting idea for me to be a part of this from the beginning. Um, that would be Matt uh, and Nick and Dana, everyone in the Young Bucks family. I wanna thank Sandra for making my gear. Uh, I wanna thank Christopher Daniels for being um, just a wonderful opponent. Um, I don't wanna break kayfabe, but when it came time to selecting who uh, we wanted me to work with here for All In, Cody was very insistent that I be with a guy that has the, the, the know-how and the wherewithal that Christopher Daniels has. Um, he was nothing short of uh, a lifesaver in the ring because about three minutes in, uh, I did what I anticipated would happen and what everyone told me would happen. And what I knew would happen, I blew up. Blew up. Couldn't catch my breath. It was, um, I had no idea where I was. <laughs> I had to get my sea legs back and being in there with a guy like CD uh, was just, <clears throat> um, I couldn't have done it without him and I'm internally grateful and I, I hope that we are, uh, are forever bonded by our, by our shared experience. I want to thank Jerry Lynn, who was the referee, obviously. Uh, my buddy Zacho, who was out there doing you know, awesome stuff for Knocking Point and um, helping me coordinate some behind the scenes stuff. Obviously, I mentioned my friends and family, but Cass and Kat of the Mac and Aisha and David and Jarrett and everyone that was out there that weekend and having a great time with me and flying across the country to watch me wrestle. I want to thank Josh Segarra for being the hype man that we always knew that he could be. If you could have seen Josh backstage, Josh and I bonded when he was on the show uh, over his love of professional wrestling. And I mean, I thought I was a fan. This dude's a fan. And I, I was cackling, laughing when I saw a video of how hyped up he was behind me <clears throat> when we were coming out. Uh, and most of all, I would like to thank uh, Cody and Brandy and the entire Rose family. Uh, I've known Cody now for the better part of three and a half years. And um, to watch him come out for his match later on in the night and to see the emotion on his face and to see uh, him realize, uh, you know, a show like All In was really quite amazing and spectacular. And I'm so very proud of him. Um, you should have seen him during the day, just, um, just holding court, being the boss man, producing the show. Um, and, uh, it, it was a real joy to see. And I know, um, you know, I know that I was very, very proud of him, which is great. Um, so, uh, yeah, all in my first ever professional wrestling singles match, quite possibly my last ever singles match in a professional wrestling ring. Um, I don't want to get divorced, so I may not be able to do it again. Also, uh, my hip really hurts. But uh, you know what? Um, when are you going to get to do a Coast to Coast? Van Terminator. The make, move Shane Mac made famous. I don't know. Whatever you want to call it. It was amazing. And um, not a lot of give in the corner of the ring when you land on your hip. Uh, so, again, also to all the people uh, in the professional wrestling community that have adopted me, um, I, I, I really hope you think that I'm not a tourist. I really do love it. Uh, I really do try to put my all into it. 
And um, thanks for uh, thanks for the holy shit chant. Thanks for the broken arrow chant. I thought you were saying something different when I was in the ring. I actually thought you were saying F you arrow. <laughs> so when I found out that it was actually broken arrow after the show, uh, um, yeah, to the guy, to the little kid in the, in the crowd who's had this, had the sign that said, who the F is Stephen Amell? Shout out to you, my man. That was really funny. To the two people in Toronto in the front row, sup? And apparently John Mayer was there. But again, I couldn't see because I was tunnel vision and blowing up and all the things that happen when you're in your first singles match ever in front of 11,263 people. God, that was a blast. I'm probably going to have to do it again. My wife doesn't watch these, don't worry. So, uh, yeah. Hopefully there's another all in. And uh, hopefully I can be involved in some way. Um, if, if, if nothing else, I just want to throw my support behind Cody and the Bucks and um, all the people who just want to put on a good show. It's really, really awesome. Really, really awesome. Um, and without getting into specifics on Arrow. Uh, oh, yes. Thank you to Sandra, who made my gear. I got a lot of compliments on my gear. I kept it. I'm probably going to wear it even when I'm not coming out to a wrestling ring. It was awesome. The Vigilante Club vest, the pants. I did wear the Arrow boots. Don't tell production. And uh, wow. That was really special. It was really cool to come out with gear. I felt like I, I belonged. Okay, on to Arrow without getting into specifics. I did the Michael Rosenbaum podcast, as you know, and I've been getting a lot of notes on Twitter and Facebook um, uh, telling me not to leave after season seven, which I, seemed kind of strange. Anyway, I don't want to go too far into, into the weeds, but um, I, I would just like to let everybody know that if... Um, if we are lucky enough to to get an eighth season, uh, or another season that is on on the on the CW, if CW is is um, you know behind us and WB is still behind us and you the viewers and the fans are are still behind us, I want to let everyone know that I will be back for season eight. I'm not going anywhere, so um, uh, that's just the nature of the business. You work in your contract when you get into these later seasons, but I'm more than happy to report that. Um, you know, I've reached an agreement with the WB and the CW to continue on in the role of Oliver Queen, and um, nothing makes me happier because I love this job. That's it. Okay, guys. Um, so news at the end, gratitude at the beginning. Actually, gratitude at the end, too, um, regardless of whether or not we do get an eighth season, and I really enjoy how things are going right now. Um, uh, the fact that we are even discussing something with the word eight involved or the number eight, as the case may be, uh, is a testament to uh, how much people enjoy doing the show, but more importantly, how much you guys have supported us. So from the bottom of my heart, thank you. Uh, so to my Arrow family, to my adopted professional wrestling family, to the second royal family of wrestling, to all of those good things. Thank you, I love you, and I'm sure you'll hear more from me on a fairly regular basis as we gear up for season seven. Okay, I'm going to go limp back to set.